Fisher caries is the name for a carious lesion in the Fisher area. Such caries are usually caused by abnormal Fisher anatomy. Fisher is the name for valleys located in the chewing area of the side teeth. In contrast, the mountains of the teeth are called humps. Teeth generally have a main fissure that runs in a longitudinal direction and is called the longitude fissure. Analogically, the many small fissures that run laterally are called lateral fissures. The relief of the teeth surface is developed fairly similarly in every human being. However, small differences do exist. For example, some fissures can be very narrow. In this animation, we see a cross-section of a normal fissure, that is, a fissure that can be easily cleaned with a toothbrush. Now we come to the cross-section of an abnormal fissure. This kind of fissure cannot be cleaned with a toothbrush. Leftover food and caries-causing bacteria can penetrate fissures. In very narrow fissures, the leftovers and germs cannot be removed with a toothbrush. Furthermore, the enamel is usually thinner in these locations, and this can lead to consequences such as caries. Another possible consequence is bacteria attacking the thin enamel and penetrating deep into the crowns, resulting in fissure caries. The video entitled Caries can provide more information on how caries develop. Diagnosis of fissure caries is difficult because they are often invisible from the outside. The enamel surface can be fully intact. Even x-rays are inconclusive because the enamel coat partially absorbs the rays and small carious lesions frequently get overshadowed. Therefore, if a fissure is threatened by caries, the dentist should seal the fissure with a thin fluid made up of synthetic resin or composite material once the tooth is perforated. This will prevent bacteria from settling in the oral flora. More on that topic in the video entitled Fissure Seal.